Hi, it's Ed from 360t.io. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a next and a previous pano button to your tour. Um, it's something fairly simple, but I've seen this come up a couple of times with people asking how to do it. So first off, you want to go under the skin tab and click on an icon button. You can, of course, import a custom image if you've designed one, but I'm just going to use one of these that 3D Vista have already made for us. So if I come over here, we've got move pano right. So this is one I know that's going to be pointing the right direction. So we'll just choose this one here. We'll click and we'll drop it in. So first thing, I'm just going to make this a tiny bit bigger, just so it stands out a little bit more. So now we need to position it. Now you can obviously just drag and click, but it's often better to actually dial in the actual settings you want. So off the right, I'm going to change percentage to pixels. So I'm say I always want it to be about 10 pixels from the edge. And then from the bottom, I'm always going to say I want it to be about 50%. Also, what you might want to do is add a tooltip just so that people, as they hover over it, they know what it does. So we're just going to put next pano. What you can also do is you can go into edit tooltip and you can change how it looks, so you can add a black text, you can change the font um, and do that. One other thing that people often don't realize you can do is if you go back under the publish tab and over here you can change the tooltip display time. Normally from memory this is at about 0 0.6 so if I change that back down to about 0 0.1 it appears fairly instantly. So if we go back onto the skin, click back on the button now, as we already bought in a, a pre-made icon button, it already has an action, but it doesn't do what we want it to. So if we remove that action, we can add a new one. And we want to go down to the list control section. So if we click on that, so on click, um, we want the carousel, because that's where all the panos are, and next media. So that's done. Now I'll just run through and add one to go previous. And then under the add action, this time instead of next media, we can go through and we can click previous media. And now if we hit publish, you can see our tour loads up. And using this navigation, we can go navigate through our tour just using backwards and forwards buttons. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below.